This is the Sitam Worship Service. Welcome to the Satan Broadcast Service, CBS. We are glad to extend a very warm welcome to everyone watching us on Hope TV, listening on Hope FM, and those of you streaming live on our Sitam Church online social media platforms. This is your Sitam Broadcast Service, CBS, leading you in worship and sharing the Word of God on air and online. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday morning family service. We are gathered on air and online from all over the world. God has something special for you as we worship Him together today. For our young people, we also have a special youth service live on Hope TV and on the Sitam YT Nation social media pages every Saturday from 1.30 p.m. The children have their Sunday school every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. for those aged 10 to 12 years at 9 a.m. for ages 5 and below and 9.30 a.m. for children 6 to 9 years. On Tuesdays, please join us on Hope TV, Hope FM, Facebook and YouTube at 5 p.m. for the After Sunday Live discussion where any questions you have about the subject of the sermon today will be addressed. We want to invite you and your family to also connect with us on Wednesdays for the live midweek prayer service from 6 p.m. broadcast on Hope TV and Hope FM and on the Sitam Church online social media platforms. Please send in your prayer requests before and during the service. Our pastors will be praying with you and for you. We want to thank all our safari groups for continuing to meet faithfully during this season. We expect safari group meetings to be virtual using social media platforms like WhatsApp or meeting by Zoom. However, if the necessary steps are taken to ensure that you abide by the Ministry of Health protocols, then in-person meetings can be held. If you are not in a safari group and you wish to join one, please send us a message on our WhatsApp numbers plus 254-784-277-277 Airtel and plus 254-728-221-221 Safaricom and we will guide you on how to join one in your area. Planning to get married? We urge all our members to contact your senior pastor for direction on the steps to be taken in preparation for your wedding. Our pastors will conduct weddings, keeping strictly to the Ministry of Health guidelines. Please contact your pastor in good time to make arrangements. We express our deepest condolences to all who may be bereaved in this season. We wish to inform you that our pastors will be available to conduct funeral services, allowing only 200 people to be present, and will also conduct the burial service on site. Please contact your respective senior pastor for guidance. All our Sitam Church offices are now open and also observing all Ministry of Health protocols. Thank you for staying connected to the Sitam Broadcast Service and thank you for paying attention to these notices. Please remember that all our assemblies are open for in-person worship services. However, if you wish to attend, you will have to register in advance to book a seat. You can do so by using the USSD code star 304 star 933 hash for Safaricom users and follow the instructions to receive a seat confirmed for the service you chose to attend. If you are not a Safaricom user, you can use the church website www.sitam.org to register. God bless you. Ivali Kupa Calvary. So you, you just need to, to join us for the rest of that song. We're going to celebrate Jesus this morning, first Sunday of October. Surely you need to give Jesus a praise. Worship team, help me as we celebrate October. Yes, the Lord has seen us through uh, nine months in 2020. And here we are in a new month. To him be all the glory. And so we welcome you to this service. This is CBS, our family service, 
and we pray that the Lord will minister to you as we worship, as we sing, as we pray, as we listen to the Word. In the month of September, we heard God's voice. And in this month, we want to respond to what we have heard. And we'll be looking at four ways we can respond. Worship, witness, the, the Word of God, and prayer. And I just want to let you know it's going to be an amazing month. And today is a great service because we're also going to be approaching the Lord's table. So we welcome you to prepare the emblems. Uh, you can just make sure that they are ready. And in a short while, we'll be coming to guide you as we celebrate the Lord's table, the Holy Communion. Uh, we also want to let you know that uh, you can worship the Lord with your tithes and with your giving. And that will be coming to you in just a short while as well. Once again, welcome to CBS. Welcome to our family service. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. You can join Pastor Grace and the team as we dance. Shangwe na vigelegele. Shwela Kalvari Kaliba Kalani Bitsaruna Iyo Iyo Kalvari Iyo Kalvari It's on a Shwela It's on a Shwela Kalvari Kaliba Kalani Bitsaruna Yo, yo, yo. 
a shout of praise, check. Dancing shoes, check. Emblems, check. You need to get the emblems ready as we put a praise on it and celebrate the King of Kings. God bless you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a healing in this room, and it's here for me. There's a breakthrough in this room. It's got my name on it. So I'm going to put a praise on it.
Glory in creation 
Father, we worship and adore you. 
What almighty God, a wonderful presence that we have enjoyed before you. We want to thank you, Jehovah God, for you have touched our lives in various ways. And today we gather together just to thank you and to give worship unto you. Jehovah God erecting an altar of worship before you. And we want to thank you for the great sacrifice. For if it were not for that complete sacrifice, we wouldn't be here today. And that is why, Lord, we hold this communion in remembrance of that great sacrifice that you did. The wages of sin is death. And rather than allow us to die, you took it upon yourself. And you took our place, died for us. This is only but a reminder of that great sacrifice. And therefore, Lord, as we hold this communion, how I pray that you will bless us and that we will have an open heart to heaven. Speak to us, we pray. We bless you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And everybody say it, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you to the Holy Communion service. Wherever you are, I do want to request and ask that you prepare your emblems. As a church, we usually hold a communion service every first Sunday of the month. But it is not a practice that is just a practice. But it is something to remind us of the great sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whereas you are supposed to die for the sake of, because of your sins, Jesus stood in your place. Jesus was your substitute. And he told us to do this because man has an error. And that error is to forgetfulness. And we don't want to forget that great sacrifice and hence live carelessly as believers. And therefore, I want to invite you to this, uh, to this service so that we can remind ourselves of that great sacrifice and challenge ourselves to live right because it cost a lot. And today, Reverend Kwame Rubadiri will be sharing with us or reading for us the relevant portion of Scripture. And they are after pray with us. And he'll also invite someone. You could be listening today. You could be in this service today. But you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Reverend will help you to pray. It's just a prayer away. And once you pray, you will belong to the fold and you will be welcome to the table. Reverend Kwame. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Our text comes from Paul's word to the church in Corinth. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and from verse 23. I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus Christ on the night he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat the bread and drink from the cup. And those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ eat and drink judgment on themselves. And that is why many among you are sick and weak and a number of you have fallen asleep. But if you are more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you should all eat together. Anyone who is hungry should eat something at home so that when you meet together, it may not result in judgment. When I come, I will give further instructions. Let us pray. Our Father, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as we are directed in this sacred text to examine ourselves, we take a few moments, O oh God, to recognize how great a sacrifice, how high a price was paid for our sins. And we ask that you do forgive us, O oh God. We have not been right before you. We have sinned against you and our fellow men. And we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for the cleansing of the blood of the Lamb. We ask that we do not carelessly approach this sacred death. And we thank you, Lord, that this wonderful sacrifice, this precious communion still has power for our healing and for our forgiveness even today. And so we ask as we partake of these emblems that represent your body and blood, 
we will do so in a spirit of humility, recognizing that this is done in remembrance of you, and it is because you desire for us to have a relationship with you. We ask, O oh Father, that for anyone who right now recognizes that their sins are an imp impediment between themselves and you, and desire now to give their lives for the Savior who came to die for them, we ask, O oh Lord, that as they repeat these words, that you will forgive them their sins and come into their lives forevermore. And if any one of you would desire to give your life to the Lord, recognizing the sacrifice he made for you, I would like to lead you in a brief prayer to allow you to come into fellowship with the Savior. Repeat these words. Dear Lord Jesus, I am grateful for your sacrifice, and I recognize that you laid down your life in my place. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I ask you to take over as Lord of my life, and I ask that you help me to live this life to glorify you in all that I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Reverend amen. Elias. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Kwame. Now we are going to share the emblems, and where you are, kindly, let's share together as a family where you are, or in the office, whatever place you're meeting, let us share the emblems together. Kindly, when you have been served, wait on us so that uh, we can share together at the appropriate time. Amen. Amen. And in the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread, broke it, and gave it to all his disciples and said to them, This is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Take it in remembrance of me. Let's share the bread together. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup and said that this is my blood in a new covenant, a new agreement between God and man. Let us partake as we thank God for the forgiveness of our sins and the washing away of all that is wrong and evil. Let us drink together. Friends, if you would just go ahead and uh, worship the Lord with us. Thank you, Lord. This Hallelujah. is the table not of condemnation, Hallelujah. but a table Thank where you, you and I are Thank accepted. Yes. We're accepted into God's family. Mm. Thank you. Thank so our Father and our mm. God, we, mm. we thank you. Mm. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for giving us your one yes. and only son mm. who died the death that we deserve. Mm. We thank you that by his blood, our sins are washed mm. away. Mm. We thank you that by that blood, we've been adopted into the family. Mm. We have been redeemed. Mm. We have been bought, O oh God, thank transferred you. out of, of the dominion of darkness mm. into the dominion of light. Mm. What a 
beautiful truth this is. Mm. And for that reason, Lord, we just celebrate you. We give you glory. Mm. We give you thanks. We say mm. thank you for mm. the cross. Mm. Come on, friends, from the comfort of your yeah. home, wherever thank you are, join Christ us. Christ Lord, 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 Do not just be a spectator. Take, take part in this. Worship oh, the God, Lord with Lord. us. Indeed, mm. he Lord is Jesus. worthy. He's the, the Lamb of God mm. who you took away our that. sins. Thank you, Lord. And he is worthy of our praise. Worthy are you, O God, to receive glory and honor and power. Dominion belongs to you. you, Oh, we give you praise this hour. And Lord, we also want to say thank you that by this blood, by your broken body, O God, Mm. we are healed. Mm. And we pray for those ones who are watching and they are unwell. Mm. We pray that healing virtue will flow right now into their situations, into their bodies, O God, from the throne room of grace, Mm. Abba Father. We pray that you who sent your son, Mm. you would send your word now and you would heal every Mm. disease. Mm. Those ones who are watching and they they are not able to move about because Mm. of sickness, let this power, Lord, be applied into their body Mm. and may they be made whole Mm. in the name of the Lord. Mm. So, Lord, would you receive Mm. our highest praise? Would you receive our worship? Mm. Would you receive our adoration? Lord, we declare you deserve it. You are worthy of it. You are the Lamb of God. Mm. You are the Lion of Judah. Mm. You are the one who conquered Mm. death Mm. and there is nothing that you cannot overcome. So, Lord, in this month of October, we walk in that power. Hallelujah. We appropriate Lord, yes. this power yes. in, the in our Jesus. lives, oh God, Thank in you. our families, oh Thank God, in glory. our church, oh God. Thank Lord, you, we will walk in this resurrection mm. power Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, yes. name of over Jesus. the power of darkness, Hallelujah. over Lord. disease yes. and even over death, oh my God, God. Mm. because God. death could not hold oh, you Jesus. down. Yes, oh. And so we mm. know that your power mm. is available Thank for you. us, oh God. Thank mm. you, Lord. Receive the praise Yes. Mm. receive the glory yes. mm. receive our worship yes. in the name for of you Jesus. deserve you it oh God. Mm. God in Jesus mighty name amen. we pray amen. Amen. amen amen thank you very much for joining us today uh, we were blessed to be together with you together with me was Reverend George Morichu and Reverend Kwame Rubadiri and myself Elias and we pray that you'll be blessed the rest of the service enjoy the rest of the service may the Lord bless you to you Reverend George and thank you thank you Rev. Agithuka, our DFA. And once again, welcome. Continue engaging with us in this service. We want to welcome you to worship the Lord with your tithes and with your offerings. Part of our worship is not just the songs that we sing, and it's not just the word that we receive. It's also to worship the Lord, to give back to Him uh, that which He's given to us. And so there's a, a, a notice, a clip that's going to play right after this, and you'll be furnished with all the details you need Uh, For those who want to pay via M-Pesa or write a check, you will be notified on how you can do this. Once again, thank you for watching and may the Lord richly bless you as you give. It is now time to express our worship to God through giving. Thank you for the continued support of God's work through Setem. We believe that God who sees in secret will reward you openly and abundantly. We have established a common payment platform for all our giving, irrespective of which assembly you attend and even for our visitors. You can now give via mobile money through the following platforms. M-Pesa or Airtel Money, the pay bill number for either system is 933-934. I repeat, 933-934. For account name, please indicate the SITEM assembly you attend. If you have joined us in this service, but you are not a member of any SITEM assembly, just write offering in the account space. Please remember that all other SITEM pay bill numbers remain operational. If you would like to make a direct bank deposit, electronic transfer or PESA link, please use the following account. Account name, Christ is the Answer Ministries, Bank, Cooperative Bank, University Way Branch, Account number 011-280-617-639-00. I repeat, 011-280-617-639-00. Swift code, 
K-C-O-O-K-E-N-A. If you prefer to give through our website, kindly visit www.satem.org. Click on the Give tab and follow the instruction for online giving. Once again, we want to appreciate your giving and continued prayers for the ministry. Notice is hereby given that following the setting aside of the 10th of October 2020 as a National Day of Prayer, the annual Delegates Conference, ADC for Christ is the Answer Ministries, earlier scheduled to be held on the 10th of October 2020, has been rescheduled and shall now be held on the 17th of October 2020. Please take notice that the ADC shall be held on the 17th of October 2020 virtually through a Zoom link to be provided to the delegates before the said date. All other details remain as earlier communicated in the notice issued on the 18th of September 2020. Thank you and God bless you.
cross, Jesus. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail there. Hallelujah. 
if you would continue to tarry with us for a few more moments just declaring that this God is holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty and the earth is filled with his glory and in the comfort of our homes or whatever place you're watching this from he deserves your worship he deserves your worship he deserves my worship and and I'd just like us to extend this time and just tarry in the presence of, of this God. He's the thrice holy God. He is holy, holy, holy. He's the almighty God. There, there is nothing too difficult for him. And he's deserving of our worship. He deserves our clap offering. He deserves our tears. He deserves our hands raised high. He deserves the best of our thoughts, the best of our prayers, the best of our lives. He deserves it. He deserves the best songs. He deserves. You are deserving, oh God. You are the almighty God. In the presence of your glory, Lord, none of us can remain the same. In the presence of who you are, we cannot remain the same. And so we worship you. Receive our worship this hour, Lord. You deserve it. You deserve it, King of Kings. Holy, holy 
Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. We sing, You are holy. You are holy. Yes, You are Lord. Are you Lord, the one who is high, the one who is lifted up, worthy is the Lamb, oh, worthy is the Lamb, we sing again, you are holy, you are holy. King of glory, that is who you are, Lord. Oh, and worthy is the Lamb, worthy to receive all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We welcome you to this, our worship service. We are in the presence of the thrice holy God. And I've titled my brief sharing, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. These words are words that are found in the book of Isaiah. One of my favorite passages in the Bible, Isaiah chapter 6. And I wish to draw your attention there to Isaiah chapter 6 as we reflect on the theme of worship. How then shall we respond to the voice of God, the voice that resounds, the voice that we have heard over the month of September as the word has been unpacked to us? God's voice that speaks to people, to individuals, to families, to the church, to the nation. How then shall we respond to his voice? Primarily, friends, our first response the, the, the priority of our response goes to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so I'm going to read five verses only from Isaiah chapter 6. If you can turn with me there, Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 through to 5. The Bible says that in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphim were standing above him. They each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of armies. His glory fills the whole earth. The foundations of the doorways shook at the sound of their voices and the temple was filled with smoke. Friends, listen to what Isaiah says. Then I said, Woe unto me, for I am ruined because I am a man of unclean lips and I live amongst a people of unclean lips and because my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of armies. Shall we pray together? Spirit of God, we pray that you would use the word of God to make the child of God more and more like the Son of God, for the glory of God. 
And to this end, I commend myself for the few moments as we consider your word. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Holy, holy, holy. The words of the seraphim regarding Adonai, the sovereign Lord. And friends, as we consider the theme of worship, our hashtag is right there at the bottom of the screen, that he deserves my worship. Personalize it for a moment. He is deserving of my worship. And when we consider this broad theme, it goes beyond singing. It goes beyond uh, musicality. It goes beyond the hymns and the songs of praise that we lift up to God. Worship affects every aspect of our lives. And I'd like to submit to us uh, what I'd, I'd say is a working definition of worship. Worship is one of those words that uh, comes from an old English word which means worship. Worship, that which is worthy, that which is deserving. And I say that worship is our response to God's revelation. That when we see who God is in creation and in the scriptures and in, in, in all of our lives, when, when we catch a glimpse, when we get a revelation of who God is, worship is our response to that. Worship is your response to God's revelation. And in as much as worship is a noun, worship is more than that. Worship is a verb. Worship is an act. Worship goes down deep into our hearts. It touches our emotions. When we worship aright, it will not just touch our will, that which we're going to do. It will affect, it will move our emotions. It will, it will change the way we think about stuff. And from this brief scripture there's so many things that we could draw about worship but I will limit my submission to three things in the interest of time God is sovereign God is set apart and thirdly man is sinful one more time God is sovereign God is set apart and man is sinful in these verses, the very first two verses, we, we see Isaiah getting a glimpse of the Holy God. And he sees this God as sovereign. And we're told that it was in a year of disruption, just like 2020 has been a year of disruption for uh, basically the whole globe in light of the pandemic. And it was in the year of disruption for the children of Israel because their monarch passed away. Uh, monarchy and monarchs are representatives of order, of stability, of life the way uh, it ought to be. But in the year that King Uzziah died, the Bible tells us that Isaiah caught a glimpse of God. He had a vision of God. One sovereign passed away, but there is one who is sovereign through the ages and his reign is not up for grabs. His reign is not up for re-election. He's seated firmly. On his throne and friends I invite you this morning behold this God he is sovereign over the affairs of men he is sovereign over the affairs of this universe he's sovereign even in a pandemic behold our God the God who is worthy of our worship he is sovereign Isaiah describes him as seated on a high and not just a high throne, a high and a lofty throne. And the Bible says, the hem of his robe, the hem, the last part of his robe, filled the temple. And I'm sure Isaiah had been to the royal court, but he had never witnessed a king with such glory. The very hem of his, robe, of his robe filled the temple. The Bible says in verse 2, Seraphim was standing above him. This king, uh, Isaiah must have pictured 
you know, in the royal court, there are usually high officials all around, but not so with this God. This God has fiery ones. That's literally what seraphim means. And they were worshiping the Lord and they were crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The Bible points to this God who is sovereign, who is high and lofty. And the second thing in verse 3 we see is that this God is set apart. And that's exactly what holy means. Holy is not just moral excellence. It's not just moral purity, moral perfections. It goes beyond that. And the fact that this is the thrice holy God, we're talking of the highest compliment that they can pay to the Lord. And so they say to the Lord, this seraphim, they say, holy, holy, holy. They say that this God is set apart. He is distinct. As we sang earlier, he has no rivals. He has no equal. He is God in a category all by himself. This God deserves your worship. This God that Isaiah beheld as morally perfect and set apart and distinct, this God deserves our worship this morning or whatever time you're watching this. And, and allow me just to mention that in, in, in the original language, they do not have superlatives. They do not have comparatives. And so if they want to emphasize something and say that something is most holy, they will not say holy, holier, holiest. They will say holy, holy, holy. And that's the highest compliment to say that there is none as set apart as this God. And because worship is our response to God's revelation, friends, we see Isaiah. The third thing I want to highlight briefly, Isaiah responds appropriately to this revelation of God. And what better response than to bow? There is no better response than to acknowledge our own sin, our own brokenness, our own frailty in light of God's sovereignty and God's holiness. And the Bible tells us in verse 5 that Isaiah says, woe unto me. And I submit to us, that's not, that's not, those are not words spoken with poise and spoken with a sense of decorum. Isaiah has caught a glimpse of the living God and he says, Woe, I am ruined. He realizes that he is a sinful man. Remember, this is a prophet, a prophet who would announce to others, Woe unto you, woe unto you, woe unto you. But in the presence of a holy God, Isaiah sees himself properly. And that's what worship does, friends. When we realize that this God is sovereign and set apart and so holy, we realize that we are sinful. We realize that we dwell amongst a people of unclean lips. We realize we see ourselves properly. And so as I draw to a close, I say that worship is your response to the revelation of this God. And this God is not just sovereign and set apart. The Bible says that this God gave us his one and only son, John 3, 16, who took on flesh, John chapter one. And as high and lofty as he is, he took on flesh. And this time he was enthroned, enthroned not on the praises of his people. He was lifted on a cross for you and for me, for our sin. Isaiah was touched by a seraphim and cleansed. But God gave us something better than the seraphim. He gave us his son. His son was lifted on a cross. His son who died and bled so that you and I would be cleansed from our sin. And when you acknowledge him, he will make you his child. And so this morning, I invite you to respond to the revelation of who God is. A God who is sovereign, but a God who also loves you with all of his heart. A God who sacrificed his son for you.
a God who is set apart, but he wants to enjoy the glories of heaven with you. He wants to draw you into his family. In light of this God, what will your response be? Will you respond with worship or will you respond with rebellion? C.S. Lewis was an atheist and a skeptic. And C.S. Lewis realized that this God is sovereign and this God is high and holy. And these are the words that he said in mere Christianity. He said that you cannot put off this God with speculations about your next door neighbor or memories of what you have read in books. What will all the chatter and hearsay count? Will you even be able to remember it? And he's saying, will you remember this when you find yourself standing face to face with God? He says, when the anesthetic fog that you and I call reality fades away and you find yourself in the presence of this God, this thrice holy God, this sovereign God in which you and I have always stood and his presence is palpable and immediate and unavoidable. What will you say? How will you respond? This morning I submit to us that there is only one response befitting our God. It is a response of worship. It is to bow before him like the seraphim. It is to bow before him like Isaiah. It is to yield all of our lives to him. It is to say with Francis, uh, Francis Havagal in that hymn, Lord, take my life and let it be consecrated unto thee. Take my moments and my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my silver and my gold. Not a mite would I withhold. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Take my hands, Lord, and let them move at the impulse of your love. Friends, God deserves our worship. There's no befitting response save for worship. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are all these things and more. You are sovereign. You are set apart. You love us. You are merciful and kind. And because of that, you deserve our worship. You are worthy of it. And you said that, Lord, if, if, if we do not praise you, the stones, even stones will cry out and praise you. I pray that, Lord, we would not deny our God praise, but that we would yield our lives to a life of consecration and a life of praise. And so we give you praise for an opportunity to sit at your feet and to listen to your word. Would you help us to live lives of worship? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if, if you would want to take a step of yielding your life, acknowledging Jesus as Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer and then I'll, I'll be out of your way as we continue just to worship the Lord. You can pray this uh, with me or pray this in faith after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I pray that you would forgive me. I pray that you would help me to become your child. Be my Lord and save me from my sin. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you have made that prayer, I invite you to uh, connect with us, to connect with our team online. And the numbers are right there at the bottom of the screen. And friends, let's continue to give God our worship. He deserves it. As our music team continues to lead us, may we tarry in the presence of our God. Amen. All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God Yeah.
And dear friends, I would like you to pause with me for a moment and just consider this question. 
can you be in the awesome presence of our God and remain the same? For I observe from worship to the word, the awesome presence of God was evident. And this is a call for us. Let us return to worship. Thank you very much for tuning in to our service today. The Lord bless you so very much. And before we share the benediction together, I'd like to remind you two things. Number one, on Tuesday, you cannot afford to miss our After Sunday Live. And the pastor will be present. Be careful to send your questions, your comments. And I believe the interaction will leave you more blessed than anything else. On Wednesday, we have our midweek service uh, from uh, 6 to 7. Be free to join in also, uh, connect to our, uh, to our platforms, and I believe that you will be blessed. On Tuesday, it is, it is 5 to 6 p.m. The Lord bless you as you seek to join in. I want to share with us a benediction, well written in a doxology by Jude. And this is what it says, and take it as a blessing to you. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now and forevermore. And all of us everywhere said, Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Let us return to worship. Thank you very much. You are the Savior with the spiritual touch. And now we want to thank our safari groups that have continued meeting consistently through various digital platforms, many for the very first time. Special thanks to those safari groups across the country that have reached out on their own initiative to support those in need around them. Jesus said, whatever you have done to the list of this, you have done to me. May God continue to bless you and your family and may he shower you with the richest blessings to the glory and honor of his holy name. Amen. Amen.